you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries november 24th tuesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 21 verses 5 to 11 When some were speaking about the temple how it was adorned with beautiful stones and gifts dedicated to God he said as for these things that you see the days will come when not one stone will be left upon another all will be thrown down they asked him teacher when will this be and what will be the sign that this this is about to take place and he said beware that you are not led astray for many will come in my name and say i am he and the time is near do not go after them when you hear of wars and instructions do not be terrified for these things must take place first but the end will follow immediately then he said to them nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom there will be great earthquakes and in various places famines and plagues and there will be dreadful pourings and great signs from heaven this is the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends in jesus christ the temple at jerusalem is jesus time was a magnificent building and one of the wonders of the world as the gospel tells us it had been more than 40 years in the building and was not yet completed people were con- commenting to jesus on the beautiful decoration of jewels and what the offerings is here as must have been shocked if not utterly skeptic when jesus told them that in time the building would be utterly destroyed with uh, not one stone left another who would ever have dreamed that the world trade center that the temple of capitalism would be reduced to rubble garbage in a matter of minutes and how much more the temple of god to many who were witnesses to its destruction it must go seemed like the end of their world what kind of life could they live without their temple without dwelling place of their god how could yahweh allow such a thing to happen it left a huge empty space in their lives which nothing else could fill jesus warning is that his followers should not misread the signs or be too alarmed it seems the early christians were in general expecting jesus to return for his second coming within their lifetime this must have led to many false alarms people claiming to be the return of the lord or warning that the end of the things of all things was close at hand even the destruction of the temple must have looked like the beginning of the end saint augustine had similar feelings as a rome a heart of christendom fell in ruins to the barbarians the end of rome seemed to him like the end of the world jesus tells his followers not to be too ready to believe what they hear people saying nor or they to be too alarmed when they hear the wars and social upheavals there will be too many natural disasters widespread diseases and celestial phenomena these do not necessarily spell the end the message will now begin being given this the end does not follow immediately yes at every pivotal time in the history of our planet there are people who claim to see the end in sight on more personal and much more realistic level we may be anxious about the signs of our own time of departure from this world but again it does not help to become fearful and anxious but rather to live each day to the full and to make it productive for ourselves and others amen may god bless us